Hi, we're the Wine Ladies. I'm Georgia. And I'm Suzanne, and welcome to the Wine Ladies Talking Wine with the Stars. We're sitting here in the gorgeous Windsor Arms Hotel in Toronto, Canada, and we've already had one glass of wine, and now we're about to partake of another one. <laughs> we are. We're about to interview Bobby Del Rio, a political activist, actor, writer, producer, director. He does it all. And Bobby is here to talk about his new film that he's premiering, Unlocked. Yes. So tell us about Unlocked. Uh, I, shall, I guess I'm looking there. Hi. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> uh, I, I'm playing the lead role in a 15-minute film called Unlocked okay. at this year's TIFF, uh, written and directed by Mio Edelman. Mm -hmm. Yes, um, and you've worked with him before, I think? Yeah, we, we sort of worked together on this, um, this television series and development in CBC okay. a few years ago. I was just sort of like... Um, a low-end guy looking up at Mio with <laughs> stars in my eyes. But and now you've uh, risen to be a star. I, I guess I guess so. Eh, that's exciting. Yeah, yeah awesome. Yeah. So, so what's the storyline behind Unlocked? Um, it's, a, it's, very, it's a very intriguing, sort of quirky, eccentric story. Uh, I play the, the lead, so I, like, I'm in every scene for 15 minutes. So okay. it's quite a big role, actually. Yeah. And, um, Basically, I play this this guy, and I'm a recovering alcoholic, so I have sort oh. of a haunted past. Mm -hmm. okay. And then all of these sort of misadventures keep happening with my bicycle. With oh. your bicycle? Yeah, yeah. Like I have a bike, and I'm always biking, and then people are always stealing my bike and locking oh. things to my bike, and it just, and I'm just trying to not lose control. So that's kind of the vehicle, excuse the pun. Oh, to, uh, oh that's corny. <laughs> oh, oh you've already had one today. To get a point across, okay. did I? Was that my second? Okay, yeah. I met my quota. Okay. <laughs> but, uh, it, what is, but the idea is, is it all about anger management, about getting through? Yeah, you know I mean? yeah, anger management is a big part of it. Yeah. Like, um, it. It's sort of like the character in Punch Drunk Love. Uh -huh. uh, the P.T. Anderson movie with Adam Sandler a few years ago. Yes, okay. yeah. Uh, and so he's just like this character and he's sort of haunted and he's just trying to basically not have an emotional breakdown. Outbreak. Okay. And a lot of men don't like to let their emotions out like that. They like to keep them inside. They do, although my father's Italian. It's so Italian. it doesn't oh. really work like that. <laughs> okay, so you must yeah. have had some Italian wine in your time. Uh, oh, yes. <laughs> oh, so, yes. So you like wine? I, I'm a big fan. Oh, well, excellent. Fun. Well, you know, we've poured ourselves um, a little bit of Riesling here from okay. Jackson Triggs. Excellent. You said you're, you're familiar with They got with me through Jackson undergrad. Did Thank they? you, Jackson Triggs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they really did. I would just go there and I would just get the Jackson Triggs and it was good. Oh, okay. when you're an undergraduate student? Yes. Okay, okay. Yes, All yes, right. yes. Well, we have a Riesling here. If we'd like to take a sip and maybe um, toast to the success. Of sure. Unlocked, your movie that's coming out. Yeah. When is it premiering? Uh, world premieres on the, the 15th, 7.15, Isabel Bader. Yes. I okay. wanted to ask you, how is it rough to be a uh, filmmaker in Canada? Is it, does it have its special challenges? or? Uh, I mean, I've produced a bit and directed some really low-budget shorts. I'm mostly an actor and a no, writer. you're mostly an actor. Okay. Um, but, yeah, I mean, you know, from what I've been able to see as an actor in this film in particular, uh, like the producer, Ascalis Poulos, and Mio were, I mean, they were working all the time, mm -hmm. around the clock, you know, like months before yes. I got involved, months after I got involved. It's like a never-ending, all-consuming process. Like yeah. the birthing of a child. Yeah, I've never done that. <laughs> um, but sure, I think probably something like that. And what's next on tap for you? What's next on tap? Well, mm -hmm. oddly enough, I two days after my world premiere at TIFF, yes. uh, I have an opening night for a play I'm writing and directing. Oh, oh wonderful. Wow. Tell us about that. Uh, that's called Three Plays About Toronto Theater. And uh, they're three short comedies sort of parodying the local theater community. Oh, awesome. Yeah. Now, now are you playing that? the lead too? No, 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 no. <laughs> I, I'm just so busy, like, running around. Um, but, you know, I, I've directed, I'm directing a nice ensemble of actors. and. They're very if, funny. If somebody wanted to find out where they could go and see the new play, where, hmm. would, they, where would they go? The best way I, would probably be on Facebook, actually. Mm -hmm. ah, um, okay. Actually, Facebook. we added you as a friend on Facebook. I approved you. Fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Way see to go, Suzanne. Works? we got lots of friends now. <laughs> no problem. Fan, friends in high places. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll post uh, when this sort of broadcast, so I'll, I'll post it on Facebook as well. Awesome. Now, wait a second, Georgia. This is supposed to be about wine a little bit as well. So yes. let's... What do you think Bobby is in terms of a varietal or kind of grape? Well, like we were saying grape? during the break, yeah, right. we like to relate personalities 
to, to grape varieties or different very wines. Very cool and suave. Okay. And very velvety. And, and velvety? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Hence the velvet soft. jacket. Is there a Chinese Italian grape? A Chinese Italian grape. Mm. Uh, I don't think they've come up with a, a cross of those two oh, okay. yet. It's coming. But we'll, yeah, we'll look in the ampelography. But wines in China have definitely, they're quite popular now. They've definitely uh, come on the map. Absolutely. Oh. Yeah, they've got a wine called the Great Wall. Oh. Yeah, actually, I've tried it. It's it's not that bad, really. But it's not great. It's 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 a, it's okay. Uh, okay. So now it's the okay wall of China. <laughs> right. Yeah. Right. <laughs> okay. I've got the grape. I've got the grape. Okay. I think, what is it? Um, I think I think it's going to be a Merlot. Merlot. Okay. And and okay. and I for all of you people out there that have seen sideways and you know Miles like poo pooed all over Merlot. Well, forget Poor about Merlot. it. Merlot. Chateau Petrus is made with Merlot, the most expensive red wine in the world. So. Oh well. You're classy. <laughs> you're classy. You're smooth. You're soft. I could have told good you that. Structure. <laughs> you haven't even seen the loves film. it. <laughs> Merlot. There, there you go. go. Merlot. Merlot. We haven't had a taste Bobby of Bobby Merlot. Merlot. <laughs> well, Bobby Del Merlot. <laughs> Bobby Del Merlot. That's okay. cute. <laughs> all right. Let's well, have a toast. Let's toast your your film Great. and um, all the luck. Oh, thank you. And wow. Maybe in the Oscars. Wow. That'd be nice, the Academy we'll Award. See. We hope to we'll see you see. then. All right, I thank, have you, no power. thank you, Bobby. Good luck, you, Bobby.